What's up everyone, it's Samphelp here and welcome back to another video. Two days later, like I said, I'd be uploading all you doubters out there thinking I would upload two days after I'd say I'd upload in two days. I know who you are, I see your comments. The key, aka Raul. Raul, you dare doubt me, Raul. Raul. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new Pokemon Full Chest of 2020 and, and that's not all, we're also going to open up a triple blister of the new set, Vivid Voltage, featuring Subble, but that will come afterwards. Also, I found a new family member for the gold and silver pens. It's their cousin Bronze, so hello Bronze, hello everyone. So we're gonna try and see what luck Bronze holds out. We know it's not the most wanted color of them all. God, these these tins are getting harder, the plastic's getting tougher. Bronze isn't the, the it's, it's the third place, but hopefully it'll give us some first place pulls. Am I right, am I right? Oh my God, this is really tough. That was a lot harder than it should have been. So what do we get inside this tin? We get three new promo cards featuring Inteleon, Cinderace, and Rillaboom. I'm guessing those will be Cosmos Hollow Foils. We also get a little folder, it seems. We get a sticker sheet. We get some packs of cards, and I'm not sure what else is there. I think that's just some more stickers. However, we'll take a look at the tin itself, and the tin itself is actually incredible. That is a very nice tin. It definitely sticks out. You've got the VMAX, or Gigantamax, uh, Charizard, and the VMAX Pikachu as well. And then on the back, we've got our our three final evolutions of the three starters. So it's, it's actually a really, really nice tin. I hope we get some decent packs. On the front it shows uh, Darkness Ablaze. Um, it shows Darkness Ablaze and Cosmic Eclipse. If we get those, that would be great. Ooh, ooh, gotta love that layout. That is really, really nice. And also a coin, oh, I thought it was a coin featuring all three of them, but it's actually even better. It's a Mega, a Mega, it's a VMAX Charizard coin. It has that awesome Shatterstar Hollow that we see in the theme deck promos. So that is, that is absolutely nice. Let's take a look at the promos. Up first, we've got Rillaboom. It's the reprint from the Sword and Shield base set. It's actually got a decent ability. And it's actually quite a playable card, so not bad. We've also got Inteleon from the base set, Sword and Shield. And I actually noticed there's a new age swirl right there. For those who don't know, we love our swirls here. That is actually in a really good placement. It's at the end of the tail. A placement of a swirl in a good place. Oh, very, very good. Not in a bad place, but a good place. Good show. And then we've also got Cinderace from the Sword and Shield base set. Very, very nice Cosmos Holofoil. Um, I'll put them in sleeves in a bit. Let's see what else we get. We'll put that there. It looks like we get Vivid Voltage packs. Now that is nice. And we get two of them. So we get two... Vivid Voltage Packs, um, so we don't get the Darkness of Blaze. I wonder why they put Darkness of Blaze on the cover. Maybe they were going to release it earlier. Maybe they decided a last minute change. We get a Sword and Shield, a Burning Shadows, and a Base Set Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows is a good one. It's a shame we're not getting any more Evolutions uh, packs. Even though everyone was sick of them, they just skyrocketed recently. So each pack's worth like, what, about eight, ten pounds? It's absolutely ridiculous. There is the Co card. We'll remove the next bit, oh, bit, the next bit of plastic and something I realized we don't get any pencils anymore they used to give us some nice pencils in these tins I don't know why they stopped doing that it's a bit of a shame we got some nice stickers though that you can put on your wall or on, on your folder or something and then we've got stickers of the the evolutions and then we've got even more uh, VMAX Pikachu and Charizard stickers and I think this is oh there's even more stickers even more stickers and then we get a a nice notebook that doesn't feature either Charizard or Pikachu for once very very nice and then the little folder at the end I don't know if we always got a fold actually no we did get always get a folder we just don't get any pencils anymore and we get Charizard on the back of it give us back our pencils this is pencil gate of Pokemon right so let's see if these packs will give us anything good we're gonna start from oldest to newest so we're gonna start off with the Sun and Moon base set and we'll go all the way up to through vivid voltage in sun and moon still lots of nice cards sun and moon had some of it, it it was like the beginning it was like the wii u of pokemon cards it gave us all like the nice full art supporters even uh, like tons and tons of them or oh, was it one two three and they gave us the gx artwork but they made it better with the v cards it was one two three four okay yeah so it was oh, i haven't done sun and moon in so long i forgot the order uh but uh, they just, with Pokemon V and cards, they just improved it so much from um, Sun and Moon. Uh, Togedemaru, Alone and Grimer, Fremantis, Rotom Dex, 
Charger Bug, Rainbow Energy, Timer Ball Reverse. That's a nice player ball for Expanded. And we get a Prime Arena Regular Rare. That's okay. It's because Burning Shadows is where it is. And Burning Shadows can get the Rainbow Charizard. You got a lot of, they've got a lot of Rainbow cards in Burning Shadows. You've got about 15 Rainbow cards, I believe. Um, and I know uh, you've got Dark Rite in it as well, which is pretty cool. I pulled that years ago before I actually started posting stuff on YouTube. I, I got two Rainbow Rares, another Fairy Energy. But two rainbow rares inside one of my booster boxes. It was crazy. I think it was a uh, dark white and muck, uh, Charmander, Morlo, Esper, Dabbing Duskar, <laughs> Oddish, Rhydon, Electric, Buffalant, Rimpod, Reverse, that old, old style reverse. And then we've got a regular rare Heracross. It's okay, positive. We, if we can get something from Sword of Shield, River Voltage, we just want to get one card. These are about twenty pounds, twenty-five dollars. These tins, and it's not. Too, it's actually quite a good price considering how much you get in all the promo cards. Uh, but if you can get, try and get maybe one full art in this, that will that will that will do me good. So we'll see. We'll have to see. Uh, we've got a Rhyhorn. We've got a Roselia, Ferroseed. Mr. Krabs, <laughs> Galarian Zigzagoon, got those dry fingers, Corviscryer, Great Ball, uh, Yampa Reverse, a nice popular Pokemon as a reverse, it's always nice to get. And then we've got a regular art, Rob Effect V, so we did get that one V card, not bad at all. However, it's not the full art, it's, we want the value in the full art. We're going to save the Celebi pack for last, I like Celebi. I really hope they do a shiny. Uh, a shyly Celebi, like amazing rare because of the new movie coming out. That would be incredible. And let me know in the comments below how's your Vika Voltage packs been going or whatever packs you've been buying lately. Have you had any good luck at all? Just let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear and see or love to, or yeah, let me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you pull on Instagram, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, link below. <laughs> Taylo, Sandile, Osherot, Matang, Girafferig, uh oh, spoilers, Alistair, and that has a beautiful full art and rainbow. We want to get that. Zero Aura Reverse, a nice rare reverse. Oh my god, my hands. <laughs> my hands were so dry. And a Steelix V, I guess, getting two regular arts. Makes a full art, kind of, not really, but we'll take that. We take those. It's not a great card. It's got like 250 HP, but we, 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 want, we, want, we want the good V cards. What's it? We want the Pikachu V. We want the big Gigantamax Pikachu. There is the code. One, two, three, four. I feel like I'm doing this awful today. This is what happens when I open up too much stuff in too of a short space of a time and mess things up. Um... And now I'm forgetting Pokemon names, even though it's there. Shuppet, Ferroseed, Joltik, Sandile, C Dot, Rocky Helmet, Alistair again, Matang again, Quagsire, the one that looks like it's peed the swimming pool. Who oh did Quagsire? And we've got a Burnett regular rare. Overall, two V regular arts. Not bad from a Tim where you only get five packs. We take those. I would consider that as a big win. And actually, that looks. That looks really cool. It's got like a little little glimmer in its eye. That is actually very nice. Let's see if Vivid Voltage will come in big still with the, the last three packs of the blister. I'll show you off that nice subtle card. I do have a every blister pack video coming out. Maybe this week. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, did like a one of those Tony Hawk's tricks. Um, I sh I, yeah, I think I think I think I can handle it. Should we say four days? In four days' time, there'll be a new video. Um, here is the co card for those who want the Sobble online, and here is the Sobble. I think I actually just damaged it. Yeah, got a bit of damage there. It was kind of tightly packed in. Not very good. I'll give that one to Rebecca. <laughs> so that is a very nice Sobble card featuring Score Bunny and Grookey, which are also promos, which will show in another day. Um, and then we get a Kamamoto Shutterfall coin. No one really cares about that. And we also got our three packs of cards featuring Celebi, Pikachu, and VMAX or Beetle. Let's do the Beetle first because we don't really care about Beetles. Well, not, not the band. We all love the Beetles band, but 
or Beetle as, as a Pokemon card. We don't really care about that. Oh, there were some spoilers. Right, uh, one, two, three, energy. One, two. Right, see if we can get anything good from our last three packs. Duskull, oh my god, my hands are so dry. I'm not used to my hands being dry. For those who don't know, I've got hyperhidrosis that makes my hands sweaty 99% of the time. So I find it very weird when they're not sweaty. Galarian, Stumpfist, Ar Ar you, you guys taught me in the last video how to pronounce this. Aromatic, 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 grass energy, aromatic, aromatic. <laughs> C dot. Reverse and a explode. Oh my, I'm gonna be pulling so many. Ever since I said in my last video, I used to pull so many of them as a kid. I'm gonna pull so many of them as an adult now. I, I can just feel the explode taunting, taunting me. God, words are incredibly hard. Sorry for the upside down co cards. I don't know if it's me or the pack of cards, but we'll blame the pack of cards. A workman always blames his tools. I think that's how the saying goes. Right, we've got a Colobopus, a Skiddo, a Shuppet, a Ferroseed, a Joltic, a Duot, Aromatic Grass Energy, Heroes Metal, Moo Moo Cheese, Milk That Cow for the Cheese, and then we've got a Zero Aura Hollow. That's a really nice hollow. I remember pulling that in the uh, Legendary Heartbeat Japanese set. That's the equivalent of what's included on Vico in Vivid Voltage. Very, very nice hollow card. Very, very nice. Can we get anything though in our last pack? Can we get at least a V? I'll take a regular art at this point. I feel like my pre release zapped all that luck. I bought an online co card for the Vivid Voltage pre release box and I actually got a Charizard pro, uh, the Charizard promo in the, uh, in the online game. So my luck is definitely with the pre release, but not so far with all the other products. Maybe we'll get something in the last pack. Opal beer Rubat. That's a really cute Rubat. It looks like one of those like baby chickens. Rubat reverse. And a Whimsicott regular rare. The tin was pretty good. Well, we got two V cards and we got the three Cosmos Hollows and we got the nice tin for storage. But in the blister, that was that was kind of bad. Hopefully, when I do the blister pack video in four days time. Four days, put that on your calendar. When I do the blister video in four days time, hopefully that will be a little bit better. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video two days after my last video, which I said that I'll be bringing out. I did it, I did it. I'll see you in four days time. So don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new here and check out my other videos. Liking, commenting and subscribing really helps the channel out. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for commenting. And thank you very much for being the person that you are. You are a good person and always remember that. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.